What are you doing? I've been looking for you. <gasps> an iPad. You never told me you had an iPad. <gasps> well, Amber, it's not mine, but it's next gen's. It says here that we'll be playing a game called The Big Adventure. <laughs> Welcome to The Big Adventure. Knowing the big plan of a big guy. The Big Adventure. Knowing the big plan of our big god. Sounds really exciting. It says here that each week, players must successfully explore an island and complete a roadblock. Once you have completed the task, the next players will continue the game exploring a different island. Cool! So the first stop is the Big Roadblock Islands. Please select your avatar. What do you think? Mm. Too shady. Oh, right. <laughs> mm. I don't think this suits me. Me neither. Anyways. <laughs> mm. Mm. I like this. So do I. When you're ready, let's start the game. Press play. On <laughs> the first day, I thought it was gonna be fun. Why is it so dark in here? And look at those big rocks. <gasps> The Big Roadblock Island. Huh. They sure don't call us the Big Roadblock Island for nothing. I'm kind of scared. Actually, I'm scared too. But remember, this is the big adventure, knowing the big plan of our big god. What is the adventure without the challenges? That's true. And God is definitely bigger than these big rocks. All right, amen. Let's get going. <sighs> Finally, we're here. Phew. And I thought it was an endless trail. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh. Select God's creation to break big roadblock number All one. Right. Let's do this. We need to get past that big roadblock. Oh Lord, please help us. <laughs> Sun! <gasps> Wooden stars! Oh, and trees! A phone? Nah! A big wheel! Oh. Challenge complete. You may now play it. big roadblock Go. number one. All right, nice. Now let's break this roadblock. Nice. Good job. Hmm. That reminds me of a passage from Romans. Oh yeah, Romans chapter 1, verses 18 to 20. God shows His anger from heaven against all sinful, wicked people who suppress their truth by their wickedness. They know the truth about God because He has made it so obvious to them. For ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see His visible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature. So they have no excuse for not knowing God. Wait, wait. God is angry? Isn't being angry bad? Well, Amber, God's anger is different from man's anger. It's different from the anger that we see from our parents because our parents are not perfect. They have sinned too. God's anger is not about yelling or getting mad. It's based on His holiness. Because He is always perfect, always pure, always good, He hates evil. He is angry at sin. He's angry at those who reject the truth about him because he has given so many proofs already. Creation, stars, moon, sun, the amazing animals, all of these are obvious proofs that he is real. I wonder what his anger looks like. It's probably very intense. Like, like this volcanic island. Let's go. Oh, it's downhill. Be careful, Amber. It's a bit slippery. Smash idols to break big roadblock number two. Idols? Like the K-pop idols I listen to? No, not that. That's a different kind of idol. Idols in the Bible are things that take first place in your heart. Instead of loving God the most, some people love their idols more. Yes, go 
always going to be idols that love them more than God. Oh, gadgets. Kids definitely spend more time on their gadgets than they spend time with God. That's true. And friends, that's a tricky one. What do you think, kids? Do some people make their friends more important than God? Yes, it's possible. Challenge complete. You may now break big roadblock number two. Woo! Let's go! Smash it, Amber! Now, let's continue in Romans chapter 1, verses 21 and 23. People knew God, but they wouldn't worship Him as God or even give Him thanks. And they began to think up foolish ideas of what God was like. And instead of worshiping the glorious, ever-living God, they worshiped idols made to look more like people and birds and animals and reptiles. That's crazy. Why would people thank God? He has done so many awesome things. Why would they worship made up objects and animals instead of God who made everything. Yeah, it is foolish. At first, people just rejected God. But now, they didn't just reject God, they even chose idols over God. It's a downhill path. No wonder God's so angry at sin. Talking about a downhill path, looks like we're headed towards a steeper downhill. Look! Oh, careful! One wrong step and we'll end up in hot lava. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Cover sins with red paint to break roadblock number three. Oh, here's the brush and red paint. Let's go, Ate. Hate, jealousy, murder, quarreling, lying, pride, rudeness, and disobedient to parents. Challenge complete. You may now break big roadblock number three. <laughs> Nice. Hmm. I wonder how we can go back home. I got an idea. It's reading out the last verses in Romans chapter 1. Since they thought it foolish to acknowledge God, He abandoned them to their foolish thinking. Their lives became full of every kind of wickedness. Sin, greed, hate, envy, murder, quarreling. They are haters of God, proud and boastful. They invent new ways of sinning and they disobey their parents. Congratulations! You've now completed this level. Wow! That was quite an adventure. The island made me realize that God is really angry at sin. Uh, I agree! I now appreciate what Jesus did for me even more. Because of Jesus' death, everyone who believes in Him will no longer be under God's angry judgment. This is actually our big idea for today. God is angry at sin. Because He is holy and pure, sin will never be okay with Him. He super, super hates sin. The problem is, we all have sin. Our memory verse tells us, Romans chapter 3, verse 23, all people have sinned and are not good enough for God's glory. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. Let's say our memory verse this time with action. All people have sinned and are not good enough for God's glory. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. Our sins are big roadblocks to a holy God. Sin separates us from God. Unless we solve this sin problem, we can't go near to God because we are not good enough. Remember our last challenge? We had to cover all the sins with red paint before we could break down the big roadblock? That's what Jesus did for us with His blood. God is so angry at sin that only death can pay for it. That's why Jesus died on a cross to pay for our sins. His death and blood covers all of our sins. But more than just covering, Jesus' blood washes away all our sins, and He will only do this if you believe in Him. John 3.36 NLT says, Anyone who believes in God's Son has eternal life. Anyone who doesn't obey the Son will never experience eternal life but remain under God's angry judgment. Do you want to tell Jesus you believe in Him and that you will obey Him all the days of your life? Then pray with us. Dear Lord, thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. I admit that I am a sinner and I pray for your forgiveness. I surrender my life to you and please help me overcome these roadblocks of sin. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. 
If you prayed that prayer with us, then you are now a child of God. Welcome to God's family! You did an awesome job today, Ate Amber. So did you, Ate Thursday. We're so excited to hear what you have learned and share them in the Big Adventure Pilot page. Please select the next players. The next players will be happy to know that they will be advancing to the next big roadblock island. I hope you guys can continue journeying with them too. Until next time, we'll see you here again at Next Gen Live! Kuya Jimmy! Kuya Jimmy! Oh, hey Mao, calm down. What happened? You haven't heard? So, Ate Thursday and Ate Amber played this new game called The Big Adventure. It looks so fun. We should try it. They played a game called what? Whoa! That's so cool! That's the same gamepad Ate Amber and Ate Thursday used to play. Well, wow! You know, I knew it! I think we were the chosen ones to play! So, what am I supposed to do with this? Well... Uh... Big Adventure! Welcome to the Big Adventure! Knowing the big plan of a big guy! Wow! I knew it! We are gonna be the next players! Each week, players must successfully explore an island and complete a roadblock. Once you have completed a task, the next players will continue the game exploring a different island. Last week, Ate Thursday and Ate Amber completed the first island in the big roadblock islands. They explored about how God is angry at sin and how God is holy. Today, we'll be tackling the second island. Aren't you excited, Kuyu Jimmy? Well, I sure am now. The game looks very interesting. I know, right? Please select your avatar. How about this? I don't know. Uh... Nah. Change. Okay. Whoa! This is cool! Right? But I don't think it fits our mission. Okay. Change. Ooh, How about this wow. one? Okay, I like this. Are we ready to play? When you're ready, yes. Press. Let's go. Oh, yikes! This place seems to be as scary as the volcano island. We're still in the big roadblock islands, but I think we're now on the second island. We need to watch out for those craters. Yeah. Falling into one will be quite dangerous. Don't worry, Kuya. Everything is just fine. Okay. After all, God is with us. Yeah, exactly. Everything is just... Ah! Mawel! Mawel! Mawel, are you okay? I'm fine, Kijim. Can you see me? Ah. Punch the rocks, showing situations of people judging each other. So, we just need to choose which sin shows people judging each other. Hmm, this should be easy. Gossiping about other people is a form of judging them. <coughs> Quit, Jimmy! There's a rock above you! Oh, looking down on people. That's not very nice. Hmm, this rock does not show people judging the other. So I don't need to break this rock. Is there any more, Mawel? Here's another one. Being impatient with others and being kind to people. Hmm, I think I should break the one that says being impatient with others because that's also a way of judging each other. <sighs> Challenge complete. You may now break big roadblock number one. Hmm, where's the roadblock? Quit, Jimmy! 
I think I found the roadblock. It's down there. Look at the arrow. But the roadblock is quite huge. I think I'll need your help. Okay, I'll jump down so I can help you. Yay! Let's go, Kuya! Alright, let's break this rock. You know, Kijim, this reminded me of Romans chapter 2, verse 1. If you think you can judge others, then you are wrong. You too are guilty of sin. You judge people, but you do the same bad things they do. So when you judge them, you are really judging yourself when guilty. You are absolutely right. We should not judge other people when they do something wrong. After all, when we judge one another, we are judging ourselves. Wait! If that's the case, who can judge us? Hmm, what do you think? Who is the only one that is perfect and holy? Aha! God! In Romans chapter 2, verses 2 to 3, it says, God judges those who do wrong things. And we know that God's judging is right. You judge those who do wrong, but you do wrong yourselves. Do you think you will be able to escape the judgment of God? I don't think anyone will be able to escape God's judgment. But thinking about that makes me scared. How does God judge people? Maybe we will find the answer to that along the way. What should we do next? Whoa! Press the best button for the given action. I think I know what we should do here. We need to choose which deed is right or wrong. All right, I'm game. Lying is bad. It's the red button. Giving is good. Cheating is not good. Complaining isn't too. Jealousy is no good either. But serving others is good, as well as helping. Challenge complete! You may now break big roadblock number two. Yes! Go on, let's break it! Yes, one more to go. I think this roadblock may have answered my question of how God judges people. How so, Mawel? God cheats sin as it is. It said in Romans 2 verse 6, God will reward or punish every person for what he has done. Yes, our Lord is indeed just when it comes to judgment. It says in Romans chapter 2 verse 11, For God judges all people the same way. So, Everyone will get judged by God. Romans chapter 2, verses 6 to 8. God will reward or punish every person for what he has done. Some people live for God's glory, for honor, and for life that has no end. They live for those things by always continuing to do good. God will give life forever to them. But other people are selfish and refuse to follow the truth. They follow evil. God will give them His punishment and anger. You know, I can only imagine how great the judgment will be. All I can say is that God's judgment is quite grave. I agree with that. We still have one more task in the game. I wonder what it is. Maybe we will find out if we just keep on walking. Follow the instructions on the banner. Oh, there's like follow the leader. What are the hearts for? I think that's how many chances we have. If we get one wrong at least, we still have another chance. But if that means we get three instructions wrong, 
we may lose the game. Don't worry, Kuya. I'm sure that we will be able to do all of it just right. Oh, let's raise our hands to the air. Yay! This is easier than I thought. We have to balance next. Hmm. Okay, wait, this is hard now. I, I can't hold it. Oh no, are you okay? Yeah, I am, but you lost the heart. That's alright, we still have two hearts left. Whew. At least it's something easier now. Oh, left. Left? Oh! Oh no, sorry! I spun the wrong way. That's all right. We still have one more heart. What if we get the next one wrong? Don't worry, Mawel. Remember, God is with us. Challenge complete. You may now break big roadblock number three. Yes! I have to be honest, I thought that following the rules for the last game was easy. But when I did them, it was quite challenging. That's true. Oh, look at this verse. Romans chapter 2, verse 13. Hearing the law does not make people right with God. But the law makes people right with God only if they obey what the law says. We may be able to listen to the law. It is obeying the law that makes us right with God. But no one is able to fully obey it. Even if we want to obey the law, we tend to mess up every now and then. Even if we make commands or laws for ourselves, we tend to fall short. Yes, that means no one is righteous because everyone has disobeyed the rules at least once. There's another verse. Romans chapter 2, verse 15. They know that in their hearts, they know what is right and wrong, just as the law commands. And they also show this by the way they feel about right and wrong. Sometimes their thoughts tell them they did wrong, and sometimes their thoughts tell them they did right. Congratulations! You've now completed this level. Yay! We're back! That was a great adventure. You know, I think the best part of it is that I learned a lot today. You know, the island made me realize that we shouldn't judge others. That's right. It also taught me that God is a just judge. That's our big idea for today. God is a righteous judge. God judges us without favoritism. He does not prefer one person over the other. And from God's judgment, no one is righteous. No one, and that's because of sin. Our memory verse says, Romans chapter 3, verse 23. All people have sinned and are not good enough for God's glory. Let's say our memory verse this time with actions. Sure. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. All people have sinned and are not good enough for God's glory. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. God is holy and just. No matter how much we want to be with Him, we can't, and that's because of sin. No one is righteous. Just like in our last roadblock, we weren't able to follow all of the instructions. Even if we tried our very best, we can't escape God's judgment. God's judgment for sin is death. Jesus came to save us by dying and rising again from the grave. Through this, we are able to be with God again. But you can only be with God if you believe in Him. Do you want to be with God? Do you want to follow Jesus as the Lord and your Savior? If so, pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, 
I am sorry for all the wrong things that I have done. I am also sorry for all the times that I did not obey you. I know that the punishment for sin is death. But you, Jesus, have paid that price for me by dying on the cross for my sins. I thank you, Jesus, for saving me. I want to follow you as my Lord and Savior all the days of my life. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. Amen. If you pray that prayer with us, then you are now a child of God. Welcome to God's family! You did great in playing the game, Pei Jimmy. I could say the same for you, Mawel. We are excited to hear what you have learned, so share them in the Big Adventure Padlet page. Please select the next players. The next players will be happy to know that they will be proceeding to the next big roadblock island. I hope they will have as much fun as we did. Whoa! Oh, it's gone! Whoa! <laughs> I mean, that's all for now. We hope to see you soon for another episode of... Next Gen, Gen Live! On the bed or in my bag. Where did I place it? Hi, Adeliana. Oh, hi, Bea. What are you looking for? I'm looking for my Bible. I must have misplaced it somewhere. Oh, I've don't worry. I'll help you find it. Oh, thank you so much, Bea. Let's see. Is this your Bible? Oh, it sure is. Thank you so much. <gasps> is this what I think it is? <gasps> it's the iPad used to play the pit adventure. Big Adventure Welcome to the Big Adventure Knowing the big plan of a big God Congratulations! You have been selected as the next players for the Big Adventure Yes, this is great! Let's see what we have to do Each week, players must successfully explore an island and complete a roadblock once you have completed the task, the next players will continue the game exploring a different island. In the first island, Ate Thursday and Ate Amber learned that God is holy and is angry with sin. Last week, Kuya Jimmy and Kuya Mawel learned that God is a righteous and fair judge. Are you ready to tackle the next level, Ate Liana? I sure am! Please select your avatar. Choose your avatar! Let's do this! Um, I think this is too much for an adventure. You change? Huh? Huh? Oh, this feels so hot. I don't think I can move in all these layers. Let's change? Yes, let's. Ooh, ooh. this is perfect. When you're ready. Ready to play? Press yes. Play. Well, this island looks different than the others. We are still in the big roadblock islands. Now, we are on the third island. This path is quite twisty. We need to watch our step. Yeah, let's get started then. <sighs> we have been walking for quite a while. Yeah. Oh, look! There's a big roadblock up ahead. Okay. That means our first task must be up. Dodge the floating rocks. Rocks? Oh, incoming! Flying is not good. Watch out, Adriana! Envy is also not good. Watch your step! Oh. Careful! Cheating's not good. There's one up ahead! Look up, Bea! Yeah. Challenge You may now break big roadblock number one. Woohoo! Let's go! All 
the rocks that we have seen are types of sin. That's right. It reminds me of Romans chapter 3, verse 9, where it says that everyone, whether Jew or Gentile, is under the power of sin. This means that everyone has done wrong and no one can escape. Oh, I see. That means even people who help others and people who are kind have sinned. That's right. Even the people we look up to, like our parents and teachers, have sinned. But what exactly is sin? Is it doing something bad against other people? Well, sin is part of that. But truly, sin is disobedience to God. Let's go! We have two more tasks to do. I think we need to climb that big mountain. Huh? Yeah, but how will we do that? Climb the mountain. Oh, that's our next task. Whew, sounds like a lot of work. Let's get to it then. <laughs> Oh, which one should I choose? Being proud or being humble? I'm sure the correct one is to be humble. Uh, oh, oh, careful! This one's slippery. Uh, lying or telling the truth? Oh, I know the correct one is to tell the truth, but that rock looks so sharp. I agree, but we need to do what's right. That's true. Even though my hands will hurt, I will still do the right thing. Ow! Ah. <gasps> this rock is so sharp. <laughs> We're almost there. We can do it. Uh, being greedy or being content? It should be being content. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Challenge complete. You may now break big roadblock number two. Yes! yes! Yay! Did it! You know, Ateliana, this reminds me of a passage in Romans chapter 3, verses 11 to 12. It says that there is no one righteous, not one. Everyone has sinned and did only what they wanted to do. It's sad, but it's true. Everyone has sinned. And Romans chapter 3, verses 16 to 17 say that sin ruins us and leads us to a path with no peace. That's a scary path. Sin can keep us from wanting to understand and follow God. It can even harm or destroy our relationships with other people. How does that work, Adeliana? Well, when we are so into sin, we either get too caught up in doing the sin or feel so guilty that we are too ashamed to go to God. That's really sad. I understand now how it can ruin our relationships too. Our sin can sometimes hurt others like when we say bad words to them. Yes, sin is really destructive. <sighs> I think we need to get going. Yeah, let's go. There's one more task left to do, which means... Let's walk in! <laughs> I mean, we are close to completing the game. Yay! Mm. Uh, walk on the green light and pause on the red light. I think I know this game. Huh? Are those hearts? Yeah, I think that's how many chances we have. If we get one wrong, at least we still have another chance. But if we lose all our hearts, we lose the game. Don't worry, this will be easy. Green light, green light before. Whoops. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Adriana. No worries, Vio, we still have two lives. What are we 
going to do? Are we going to be stuck here forever? Oh. 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 What's this? It's a button! Press it! We were given a second chance! Praise the Lord for His grace! Challenge complete! You may now break big roadblock number three. Just like the game earlier, it is impossible to completely follow all the rules. We will sin, but just one tiny mistake can ruin our relationship with God. It's game over for us. Yes! In Romans 3, 19-20, it says that everyone is responsible for the things they do and that no one is righteous before God. Since we have a holy God, we will be separated from Him because of our sin. Sometimes we can be sneaky with our sin and people might not even catch us. But God sees everything we do, from the big things and down to the little things. We might think that sin is no big deal, as long as we do good. But no matter how much we try to be good, all our good works will never be enough before a perfect God. However, God is gracious. He really is. Just like the second chance we were given earlier by God's grace, God gave us a second chance through Jesus, even though we don't deserve it. Congratulations! You've now completed this level. Oh yay! We are done with this level! Yes! I really enjoyed playing it. Are you ready to go back? I sure am. <gasps> we're finally back! Hooray! So, what did you learn today, Bea? I learned that sin is disobeying God, and sin ruins our relationship with Him. Yes! I also learned that no one is righteous because everyone has sinned. And that is our big idea for today. All people have sinned. That is exactly what our memory verse says. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. All people have sinned and are not good enough for God's glory. Let's see our memory verse this time with actions. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. All people have sinned and are not good enough for God's glory. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. No one can escape God's judgment because all people have sinned. God is holy and perfect, which means He doesn't like sin. We have all failed Him by sinning. But just like how we had a second chance by God's grace in this last game, it is only through Jesus that we can be saved. If we admit that we have sinned and believe that He has died and risen from the grave and accept Him as our Lord and Savior, we can be with the Lord again. The best part is that Jesus' sacrifice has paid for all our sins. Would you like to give your life to Jesus and follow Him? If so, pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I know that I have sinned and I am sorry for that. I am sorry for all the times I have disobeyed you by sinning. It is only through you that I can have a relationship with the Lord. Because you died and rose from the dead, I am saved from all my sins and I can be with you forever. I promise to follow you all the days of my life as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, I pray, Amen. If you prayed that prayer with us, then you are now a child of God! Welcome to God's family! Congratulations to us in completing the level! Thanks! We both did great! We are excited to hear what you have learned. So share them in the Big Adventure Padlet page. Please select the next players. The next players will be happy to know that they will be proceeding to the last big roadblock island. I'm sure they'll do it very well. Cool! Well, I guess this is it. 
We hope to see you soon in another episode of Next Gen Live! <laughs> okay, okay, that was a... Like, Sorry, I didn't mean to surprise you. So, what are you doing? Well, Dad, I am just checking my backpack for our walking trail today, remember? Oh, is it today? Yeah, it's today! Oh, l let me help you, let me help you. Okay. Hey, I didn't know you have an iPad. I didn't know I had an iPad either, that's not mine. Oh, big adventure. Welcome to the big adventure, knowing the big plan of a big God. Congratulations, you have been selected as the next players for the big adventure. It's big adventure time! This is Next Gen's iPad! <laughs> hey kids, I'm Kuya Jesse. And I'm Ate Alexi. And yes, you're right, Dad. And that means we're the next players. Each week, players must successfully explore an island and complete a roadblock. Once you have completed the task, the next players will continue the game exploring a different island. And we are on our last island! Oh, on the first island, Ate Thursday and Ate Amber learned that God is holy and is angry at sin. On the second island, Kuya Jimmy and Mao will discover that God is a righteous and fair judge. And just last week, Ataliana and Bea shared about how all people have sinned against the Lord. Now, are you ready to explore the next level with us? Let's go! Please select your avatar. Woo! Oh, oh. Ooh, this is interesting. Ooh. Let's select our avatar. Whoa! I am king! When you get the crown! Well, I always like to be the leader, right? Ugh. Again. <laughs> Oh! I think I've seen this in a game. Ooh, I think I look like a <laughs> But does it fit us? Ah, uh, debatable. Yeah, let's change. Ooh, I got a swanky jacket. Oh, you also got a swanky jacket. Plus a big, big hat. Okay. It's adventure time, Lex. All right, let's go. Let's go. looks really red and empty. Uh, oh, we're still in the big roadblock islands. Now we're on the fourth island, the last island of the stage. You're right again, Lex. This is so red. Uh, can we do this? Mm, well, there's a bit of cracks on the floor, but we can, I'm sure of it. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. Ooh, are you all right? Not sure if I like this teleporting stuff. Right. Um, well, we're just on a floating rock. Uh, well, it uh, looks like we're gonna have to hop our way through this. I remembered from the past lessons. This means tasks right ahead. Can we do this? We can do this. True or false? All have sinned. Wait, wait, this is a, a quiz show. I know this. Last week, I learned that we are all guilty of sinning, lying, hurting others, and a lot more. Anything we think, say, or do that disobey God and hurt others. Ooh. We need to choose, Dad. Oh, that was close. I'm getting used to this teleporting stuff. Well, you know, this is a really nice floating rock. You know, we could just rest here. Uh, never mind. Oh, okay, so this is the next question. Human efforts can save us from sin. Um, what do you think, kids? Is it false? True. True or false? Yes, it's true. I think you're not right this time, Lex. Hold on. All our human effort is nothing 
whether we do good or sin a lot because we always fall short before God. <laughs> okay, I think you're right, actually. Oh, that was close. Thank you. Oh, there's our next pop-up. No one can obey all God's command. Okay, um, if all have sinned, then we can't obey God's commands on our own? What do you think, kids? Is it true or false? Yeah. You may now break big roadblock number one. Yeah. Wow, we are so close, so close from falling. Yeah. Hey Lex, that's the roadblock we need to break so that we can cross to the next stage. All Come right. on, let's break this. Let's do this. One, two, three. All the pop-up means that we can't save ourselves on our own? That's right! Remember last week's lesson shared by Ate Liana in Romans chapter 3, verse 9, where it says that everyone, whether Jew or Gentile, is under the power of sin. This means that everyone has done wrong and no one can escape. And we cannot save ourselves. That's right! It could also be found in Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For all of sin and fall short of the glory of God. Exactamento! <laughs> Last two tasks to go! <sighs> Alright, what are the instructions? What are you doing? Um, is there a giant meter chart that's about to explode us in our very own ground? Uh, what are, what do, you, do, do, do you answer something? Take, take it easy. Take it easy, Lex. Turn two times to your left. Bend on your right, then jump three times. Please do this at the same time. Oh. What? I did not get that quite clearly. Uh, mm. Kids, could you help us remember the instructions? Like turn two times to your somewhere and bend on something, jump some what amount of times, and then do it together? <laughs> All right. Good job, everyone. So turn two times to your left, bend on your right, and then... We jump three times. You must do this at the same time. All right. We can do this, Lex. Let's do this, Dad. Okay, uh, turn to your left two times. One, two, oh. bend to your right, and then jump three times. One, two, three. <laughs> Challenge complete. You may now break oh big throws up number two. Yeah, we did it, Lex. Ha. Hey, look, there's the next roadblock. Let's okay. kick it. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Our second task was uh, admittedly a kind of a challenge for me. It's hard to follow instructions with and just trust a voice. That's true, Lexi. But remember what God tells us in Romans chapter 3, verse 22? This righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. Our task was to have faith that the voice instruction will guide us instead of trusting ourselves. Just like our faith in Jesus. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder, Dad. Let's keep going. Spoken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Dad, it's kind of foggy in here. Can you see our goal? You don't really know where to go next. Uh, Pick an arrow for your choice. That's our next task. Let's do this, Lex. Okay, a longer or shorter way? Is this a trick question? This is a tough decision. Hmm. Oh, let's press our choices. Ready, set, press. <laughs> oh, where am I? Anyone oh. there? That's Alexi! Alexi, can you hear me? Alexi! Dad? Yeah, it's me! I'm here, Dad! Oh, there she is, there she is! I can see you now. What's the right thing to do? Should I ask for help or stay with Alexi? I can't leave Alexi. I don't even know where I will go, even if this is a shortcut. Oh, Lord Jesus. I pray for Alexi on our way out. 
Hold on, Max. I'm coming to you. Lord, help me to jump. Thank you for dad. Please, let him be safe. Nancy, are you alright? Yes, I'm okay. Oh. Thank you, thank you for rescuing me dad. Challenge complete. You may now break big roadblock number three. Look, there's the roadblock. We can use this dynamite to blow that roadblock away. Where did you get that from? Come on, let's light it. Okay. There's a way to be made right with God. Just like what we experienced in the last game, even if we separated ways, God made it possible through Jesus. That's right. In Romans chapter 3, verse 22, it states, This righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. Righteousness means the condition of being right before God. We cannot earn it or deserve it. It is only through believing in Jesus Christ. Agree. And our righteousness through faith in Jesus produces works just like when you stayed and rescued me, Dad. Congratulations. You have now completed this level. We did it! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, Ari! So, what's your favorite part of our big adventure? Well, teleporting, actually. <laughs> and of course, when you rescued. Aww. And how God made us righteous by providing a way for us through Jesus Christ. And that's our big idea for today. God makes people right through Jesus. And our memory verse it is found in Romans chapter 3, verse 23. All people have sinned and are not good enough for God's glory. Now, let's say our memory verse with action. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and are not good enough for God's glory. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. God's solution to the problem of sin is to send His Son Jesus to die for sin and to give His own righteousness. God considers His righteousness as our righteousness. If we trust in His Son, God makes people right with Himself through our faith in Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. Salvation is available to anyone who will trust Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Would you like to trust Jesus and follow Him? If so, pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, sorry for all the sins I have thought, spoken, and did. Thank you for dying on the cross so we can be righteous before God. I put my life and faith in you. I accept you as the Lord and Savior of my life. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you pray that prayer with us, then you are now a child of God. Welcome to God's family. Congratulations to us on completing the level. We're excited to hear what you have learned, so share them in our Big Adventure Panda page. Please select the next players. You have unlocked the next stage. Well, now it just keeps getting exciting, huh? More islands! That's so true! Who could be the next players for the new set of islands? Well... <laughs> done! So, what are we gonna do with that iPad? <laughs> okay! High five! <laughs> this is it! See, See you in another, another episode of... Next Gen Live! Gen Live.